Hi guys, this is Sorav again with the part 2 of our video about game design and development uh, for beginners transitioning from Game Maker Studio to um, Unreal Engine 4. So this is, as I said, the part 2, so if, if you have not seen part 1, go back and watch it. I suggest that you do that anyways, you can choose yourself. but. Um, if you want to get the full benefit of the these videos just start there um, because we talked a lot uh, I mean I basically set up the whole thing there so but yeah let's continue the bright side so I, I already t talked about the first point I was talking about the visual scripting so I will not go much into details of how to do this um, but as I said I uh, I think it's a very wonderful tool. It has actually, in my opinion, some advantages over just writing code. Um, for example, debugging, uh, for debugging is really good. This is Unreal Engine 4 and this is the game and that I'm wor working with right now, but I can just show you uh, an example of like what I mean with blueprints. So it basically looks something like this so when instead of having like lines of code you have these nodes basically they are actions or functions that you would have in a, in a, in GML or another language and um, then you have these execution wires so when you start the game when some action is executed you can see the flow and this is really wonderful to understand what's going on and also debugging and then it's also once you understand the logic of it it's very easy to use I think very efficient I mean time wise so yeah um, so that is a positive point in my opinion and then um, but and you do you can do almost anything with this visual scripting you don't need to use C++ you might need to if you want to go really deep but I mean I've been able to do everything in my game without it so um, and uh, I can actually show you how what I mean in the game so you can see that I mean, this is, uh, as I said, this is not a finished version at all. It's just very, very, like, it's just an idea at this stage. But you can see, like, you can do... I, this is all done by visual scripting. No coding at all. So, yeah. So, let's move on. Then, um, I jumped the page. Um... Also, another thing I wanted to mention is the capabilities of the engine. I mean, if you are into making 3D games, I mean, absolutely you should move to Unreal Engine 4 because Game Maker Studio has some capabilities, but very limited. And um, Unreal Engine 4 is, is a very, very powerful engine if you are into making... 3D games, the graphics are amazing, and I mean, if you want to make virtual reality like Oculus Rift stuff, this is the way to go. I mean, if I feel like with Unreal Engine 4, sky is the limit, it's just your imagination that is limiting you, it's that good. So, that's another bright side. But now, let's get to the nasty side or the negatives or the challenges as I would call them the possibilities <laughs> so uh, some of these are the things that I faced uh, and keep in mind this is a short video it's just my opinion so you could always go deeper and think more about things but so um, I mean one thing is that uh, as I said there are benefits to visual scripting but um, a challenge that I faced with when transitioning from Game Maker to Unreal Engine for for a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two, was that I couldn't 
I watched a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff, but I couldn't figure out the logic behind visual scripting. I couldn't connect the way I was writing the code in GML to visual scripting. Um, as I said, there are a lot of videos, but and there are some documentation, but they basically tell you specific things like how to shoot your gun or how to make a character jump I don't know things like that but they don't systematically teach you how to come up with your own solutions how to do things yourself and um, that was something that was lacking and it made me do a lot of experimentation myself to figure things out but as I said it just took a couple of weeks and after I figured it out this is just the visual scripting system is amazing I mean it's more efficient than coding I would say and this is actually a good segue to the next point um, which I've written lack of quality learning material for beginners so uh, as I said there's a lot of videos and things out but they're mostly telling you specific things there are not there are not many videos on the basics and how how to the logic behind all this so you can do your own solutions and things so and this is contrary to game maker studio which i mean there are so many tutorials and i mean the documentation itself a lot of um, examples and it really gives you the basics and uh, sets you going but that's actually lacking unfortunately at the moment that I'm making this video for Unreal Engine 4. It is getting better actually, the community and the, uh, and everything is getting better, but it's still, it wasn't a challenge for me. So, um, so basically, there is a saying, they say, if you wanna make someone survive for a day, give them a fish, but if you wanna make them survive their whole life, give, <laughs> teach them how to fish. And they're basically giving you the fish, but not many, videos teaching you how to fish and I had to figure this out myself basically come up with a system a system of bringing in my solutions and my ideas into the visual scripting language I might actually do some video series on this the basics how to teach you how to fish basically based on like how many I mean if I get the request to do it if I get enough requests to do it I I will do it so another thing is a, a lack of established best practices what I'm what I mean by this um, is that there is many there can be many different ways of doing something implementing an idea or a solution in in the engine but there is there are ways that are more efficient and better than other ways so those are the best practices of course every best practice can be improved upon but unfortunately there is a lack there is a lack of an standardization in or standard in Unreal Engine 4 document you can't find it basically you see a lot of tutorials everybody doing things their own way but in I felt like in for game maker studio the standards are already set so by following the documentation and tutorials and examples you get those best practices but in Unreal Engine 4 you have to do I did anyways a lot of experimentation and also you must be aware that there is a lot more to the engine because it's the 3d engine mostly so there is a lot more when you first start up the engine I mean you can see like I, I don't think I can show you here but trust me there is so it might be a little overwhelming in the beginning so in conclusion I would say that the transition is very possible in a short amount of time but you have to do some trial and error there because of the lack of good documentation and if you're interested in 2d games for mobile especially or 2d games for PC I would say stick with game maker otherwise just transition I would say um, and this is the comparison table you can pause and watch it just my opinion very quickly did it so thank you very much guys leave a like and your comments see you in the next video